What is up, you bunch of savages? Savage Mr. here, and I am somewhere in Florida. Uh, we are in Pensacola in a hotel room. And I almost been pretty wiped out yesterday because I slept straight through and the alarm went off at four or something. I could not believe it was already four or something. But anyway, um, we are one giant step closer to Disney after yesterday. Uh, the first leg was us driving all the way from Dallas to uh, here, <laughs> Florida. And today, here we are, it's like 4.30 a.m. And we have um, six hours, apparently, to get to where the, uh, their new house is. And if you haven't followed along already, go look at the video before this one where we did all that stuff. So, uh, and I map out, I'll tell you all that's going at the beginning of that one. So basically, they're taking me to Disney for two days. But first, we have to do the most important thing of this whole trip and get their stuff to their house. <laughs> Just making sure I've got everything out of my room. And I'm out of here. Let's go. They should be down here somewhere. Let's go down. All right, let's go get in the giant truck and drive for another six hours. There's the giant spaceship, the mothership right there. The big one, of course. All right, let's get some gas in there and get going. The adventure continues, everybody. You gotta fuel up. Zach's ready to go. Oh, let's go. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the... Actually, I can't wait to get off the road again. I want to be done with this drive. Oh, uh, this has been an interesting, um, like, adventure. But this part of it, I want it to be over. No more, no more driving, please. Alright, it's 5.08. I'm not sure where the time changes to make it 6.08, but... Right at the moment, I'm still at the same time with the wife and kids back home in Texas. So there's first light you can see. I mean, not those lights, the sky. Um, I think of one over a bridge. We're definitely going over a bridge, but that's just nothing but water that way and that way too. So, all right. We got, apparently we've got, we're going to be on this thing for like 280 miles or something. And there's a couple of, of the agricultural stops that I've got to do. Uh, one nice thing about getting up before the sun, you can catch a lovely sunrise, even though the trees are blocking it. You make out that sign. There's a place called Niceville, like Pleasantville. Is it black and white when you first get there? You can see the sunrise a little bit better. It hasn't come fully up over, well, at least over the horizon, over the trees. But and it's funny, I'm looking at sunrise. You're talking about a bad moon on the rise. What? Not moon, sun, dude. And that guy's the fortunate sun. What the heck? The sun has broken through. Check out how it's throwing sh uh, sunlight on those trees right there. That's lovely. I don't know when the next um, agriculture stop is, but I'm just, I was just thinking of something, right? Oh, wow, look at that. The way the sun rays are cutting through right there. Beautiful! Nature! But anyway, I was thinking, um, so whenever I have to go through the agriculture stop, they don't go through, they continue on. Thing is, they've got the key to the lock, to the uh, back door. Uh, you know, if the, if the people decide, well, we want to see what's in there. Uh, they, I would have to call them and go, y'all need to come back, circle back, and bring the key, da, da, da. They ask about pets or animals and plants. And they may have household plants. I'm not even sure about it. I need to ask them. But I don't think that's what they're asking about. I think they're concerned more about shipping stuff from, like, a farm from another state. And I guess. I don't know. All I do know is I feel like I'm probably their mule. And they said, hey, we're moving... We're moving our furniture and stuff, but I'm probably their mule and I'm transporting their plants and animals. I don't know. I'm stupid. I got up too early. Sorry. Wow. It's a little bit froggy right here. Kind of misty out there. Dang, dude. Not so much over there. This guy on the radio trying to tell me what's up. Trying to tell me how far we've gone. I appreciate you being concerned and trying to be positive, but you're wrong, Bon Jovi. No, sir, we are more than halfway there. I am crossing a bridge over yet another river that I cannot pronounce. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Yeah, okay. Entering Gadsden County, okay. Don't 
tread on me. But these rivers and counties and towns and stuff around the south, particularly like, I guess, Florida, I mean, I don't know, some others as well. It's like Fukuhachituchi and Slapa Hapa Snaki and Hapatuchi and Sluki Goofy and all this kind of weird names. Apalochitush Duck? I don't even know, man. There's so many. Okay, this one I can pronounce thanks to Alan Jackson, but oh no, you know what that means? We're way down here on the Chattahoochee. Oh no, that means today it's gonna get hotter than a you know what. And you do know why. It's gonna get hotter than a hoochie coochie. Oh my gosh. And the time just changed. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 722 on the clock, and my phone just changed and says 822. So just went into the next time zone, finally. Now I'm seeing all the Spanish moss, which we don't really get, well, we don't get at all. I think uh, that's quite a bit right there. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but yeah. What are they farming out there? Sunlight, sun energy, solar energy, what? Here comes a U-Haul guy. What's up, U-Haul guy? Oh, you decided to go with the baby one. Okay, that's all you need, I guess. And they've got the tall pines here, just like we do in East Texas. It kind of starts in East Texas coming all this way. Uh, they've also, what they've got here that we don't get are palm trees. I haven't seen, I've seen some, but I haven't recorded any yet. All right, we're gonna be stopping in about 20 miles or so to uh, top off vehicle. Uh, and we have uh, like three more hours, two and a half more hours to go, I think, till we get to destination, but, um, so, so just there, I didn't record any of it, but, um, oh shoot, hold on, there's cops. Hold on, I'm gonna keep the phone down, there's police, hold on. All right, so there was an agricultural stop, and whenever I stopped, they did the, what are you hauling? I said, cool, furniture, we're moving uh, from Texas to here, and she was like, uh, plants, pets, uh, produce, anything? I was like, no, she goes, uh, we'll go ahead and pull over to the left and they'll have a look. And I was like, oh, well, uh, the, the people who have the key just now passed in the, in a car. And she was like, go ahead. You're good. She was like, that's going to be too much trouble to have them circle back or to stop and run back with the key. So she was just like, never mind. You're good. And I was like, okay, I guess I have it on his face. Hopefully, you know, uh, maybe that's the reason why. But she didn't stick to her gun, so thank God. So we finally get to bring these plants and pets and animals and uh, produce through. Yeah, it worked. I, I'm stupid. Look at that trailer -ception. Two trailers on a trailer. All right, we have stopped at a Circle K over here. I'm going to grab some snacks, go bathroom, all that jazz while he fills this thing up. It got to almost a, almost a quarter of a tank. I know this is weird to record at the urinal, but why is there a sock? It's so weird, I believe it. We're over here at the store. There's like a Lenny's right there. Yes, Denny's. But look at it, it looks like old school diner type. That's pretty cool. All right, we are coordinating our thing. Trish is already on the way over there. Zach is here still filling, and I'm thinking of taking the truck over there to see if we can park it there. All right, I'm gonna go see about parking the truck over there at the big, big Chicken and trying that out. We want about, to, at least I wanna try Big Chicken. There were suggestions of other places like Subway, Steak and shake, but I'm like, ooh, big chicken I've never had, so let's try something I've never had, you know? Yeah, let's go. Big chicken. Let's go, big chicken, and it's just open as well. All right, I've used this parking here. This should be all right. I mean, there's nobody else here. And poor Zach, <laughs> Trish came over here to uh, probably to start ordering, or I thought she was going to look to see if there was if there was actual uh, room to park, but he, she took off with the key, so the car, we were worried about leaving the truck over there, but we left the car over there. Is that could have run with me when he decided to try the, the bathroom there in Circle K, but yeah, so the car is left over there. <laughs> He's like, dang it, she took the key. So here's what we're trying, big chicken. I thought it had flames and fire, and I was like, I don't think I want flames and fire like hot chicken, but it's not, it's the comb of the chicken because there's the beak. Let's go. Dude, okay, this is crazy. I just wanted to show. I was like, why is there Shaq? But this is his store, Big Chicken. Dude, Shaq's right there. Where is he? Bring him out. He's not here. Okay. He, yeah, because you know why? He's probably in Heath right now because he bought a new house there. Um, all right, I'm going to order up some sh uh, Shaq food. See what I did? First, they asked, can you dig it? And then, I guess, on your way out, they ask, did you happen to dig it? <laughs> so, we've got weather news or something, and they've got some Shaq thing over there. 
He's on TV right there. Oh, <laughs> beware of chickens. You have been warned. They actually, on Monday nights, uh, we're not here for karaoke, dang it. But um, over here, they've actually got... He signed these as well. Nice. All the rewards? Buck bucks. <laughs> ten bu ten buck bucks. <laughs> <coughs> Bok bucks. While other places are charging you for extra sauce, they've got all of them here. And if that isn't enough, there's more right there. Come and get it. All right, here's the chicken. Let's give it a go without any sauce and see what's doing. It'll be a little bit dry, but yeah, I want to try it out. There we go. It looks peppery. All right, now to try the sauce. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a texture. Just a bit crispy, hot. It's no Chick fil A sauce shack, but let me try it with the sauce. Sounds, no sounds, right here. Get it with the sauce, it's good. I'm having my meal o meal. Ha, <laughs> see what I did? He would appreciate that. Even though you don't. Alright, they're getting in the um the Trans Am and I'm getting in the um Bandit 2 big truck. <laughs> and uh Yep, we had some Shaq. Big chicken. It was pretty good. Thanks, Shaq. Even though I had to buy it. This message is for Shaq alone. Shaq, I thought you were all generous and you gave everybody stuff. Why did I have to buy my chicken? I joke. All right, here we go. Let's get in the car. Let's go. Another message for Shaq. I don't know if you've used it yet or whatever, but uh, feel free to use this and just say Savage Mister uh, came up with it. You don't have to pay me or anything. Um, you need an ad that says, uh, go ahead and try Big Chicken. Don't be a you-know-what. <laughs> You know what? Don't be a big chicken. <sighs> wow. As I'm following two of my uh, two of my patreons there on the road, have I shown you my patreons yet? They're right there, going up my window. And uh, if you'd like to be one of those, then uh, click link below, and you can help me out. Uh, not going on something like this, but just. Uh, as for normal, help keep the channel going. I can do some things. We just made it to Gainesville. I've heard of Gainesville. And as I was just driving along, just thinking about how this trip's gone so far and what's coming, I was like, oh my gosh, tomorrow's Disney day. Ow! Well, tomorrow and the next day, but I can't wait. Oh my gosh. It's 1240. We have one hour left. We're almost there. All right, looks like we are off the freeways now interstate somewhere over here amongst all the shops and that kind of thing and we've got uh, another 47 minutes of this and then we're there Buena Vista Boulevard that sounds familiar that looks beautiful over there and I don't know what the villages are but it sounds pretty nice the villages let's go and that is a lot of Spanish moss man look at that whoa a lot of it over there too, some palm trees, heck yeah, let's go. With uh, about 20 minutes until we get to the destination, I've lost them because there's a whole lot of uh, stoplights and I got stopped and they moved ahead. I think they moved over uh, wait, uh, to wait for me, but I, I passed them up and so they're behind me, they'll catch up. But here is the current view. And Ozzy's talking about coming home as we're almost there, almost to the home. Good job, Ozzy. I think they caught me. <laughs> we are 15 minutes away, and I can't really show you all the scenery, but man, they've got some lovely scenery around here. They are pretty fortunate to be able to move over to such a, I mean, a destination spot. All right, they're moving again. All right, we're going down this bit. Oh, wow. And then out there, you got that. Water train tracks right there down between the water and what I'm driving on oh they're in a lovely spot this is I'm so happy for them my gosh look at this I'm going just barely going under these trees with the Spanish moss there's even Spanish moss on the wires <laughs> is that a thing palm tree sticking way up Stop that tree nice movers come uh, in about an hour and they're gonna unload the truck and then so turn the truck in and we'll have the rest of the day to do whatever. So stick around and see how it goes. All right, the movers are here now. And so my job of driving is over. Unless I drive, the, unless I, I'll be driving it back to the U-Haul uh, place too. But mostly it's over. And I get to sit here 
and relapse. <laughs> all right, the movers are almost done. And then we will probably be going to take the truck back. And then maybe go to City Walk, University City Walk, maybe. So we're taking the truck back and this will be boring. So there's nothing to show you here. Truck is all dropped off. So we're in the town and we're called, what is it called again? Mount Dora. Mount Dora. Uh, but yeah, it's a very lovely little, little town with all the shops. And I'm gonna try to show you everything that I saw that I couldn't record while I was driving the truck. But um, it's just like so nice and quaint and just cute. It's adorable. Oh yeah, Adora Bull. Yep, you're good. Two way. Let's go. See, they even managed to put flowers right here. Why would you do that? But I'm glad they did. It's beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you. The palm trees. No. You can see the wall uh, right there. Cute. That's like Dora, I think. Nice. See, are these these are like all bed and breakfast or something? Right? Well, that's a tavern. But just look at how cute that is. These little these places. It's so nice. There's this Mount Dora, Florida, right there. Very cute. There's a British phone box. Is this gonna be like a pub? Yeah, it's a British pub. Look at that. They went ahead and put a phone box right there. Nice. Is that another bed and breakfast? That one's got a pineapple on it. We know what that is. That's not your average bed and breakfast. That's your bed and more bed. <laughs> so these are the Valley okay. Resorts yeah. for Universal. And over to the right you have Surfside and we're staying at Dockside to the left. Surfside is oh. Half as big. Use the left okay. two lanes to turn left on Universal Boulevard. Hmm. Here's the different Universal hotels, resorts. Is that what they're calling them? Yeah, that's the Surfside Hotel. Uh, Surfside Resort. Okay, cool. We're turning into Dockside over here. Dockside. Let's see the cool signs. Come over to the Dockside. <laughs> see what I did? Ah. Do you see what I did? That was impressive. Most impressive. At least okay. I thought so. Oh! <laughs> that was... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm getting in stereo. <laughs> Dad jokes in stereo. The dark side. Oh! You know, out of, out of all the Disney, or the, all the uh, Central Florida vloggers, I've never heard anybody do that one. They probably don't have the nerve to. Or <laughs> they just won't bring themselves down to my level. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, check this out. Dude. All right. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the tour. Booger from uh, Revenge of the Nerds will be happy for me doing this one. We've got Bush. <laughs> All right, we'll see what we got in here. Universe Studio store. Okay. Wow, this place is large. It is big, y'all. Okay. You can get some merch over at the store. Heck yeah, dude. They got the Harry Potter stuff right here. A wand! It's very wandy. Nice! Oh, dude, these are cool. Very nice. Hogwarts. Oh, Is it gonna be snowing? It's Crimbo! Oh, they've got the Nimbus 2000 right here. Very cool. All the Harry Potter stuff. A big stein, a Hogwarts. Whoa, that thing is massive. It is large. And find out which house you're in. If you don't already know, you probably do. And get your merch to represent your house. And there's the sorting hat if you don't know which one. And here's official robes for $110. Dang, it's the official. Cool, they've got an ET. I love the ET ride. Okay, I've seen all the merch, I think. I've seen it all. So we're at one of these endless summer resorts. The dark side, the dark side. And we come through here. They've got foods apparently at Dark Side's Pier 8 Market. Okay. You got surfboards and all. So it's, a, it's a different menu at each station. Burgers, sandwiches, fried chicken and waffles, penne chicken and stuff, and some salads. All right, we're leaving here and going to Tower 1. All right, we have got a sweet room, and I'm understanding it's pretty sweet. So, let's go find out. So, even though you just saw footage of us getting to their new house, 
we are staying in a hotel, yes, tonight because their bed uh, is ordered separately and it's coming brand new bed um, tomorrow. So tomorrow in the morning, actually, before Disney. Oh my gosh! So <laughs> that's why we're staying in here tonight. So let's check it out. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like you're in the picnic. Yeah, you're the picnic table. And a bench as well. Look at that. Bench. Very nice. And sorry, and the surfboard. Trish used to be quite the surfer. <laughs> you have your microwave and your fridge. Cool. Heck yeah. That is a must in a very small sink. <laughs> okay. And that's where your room will be? Sweet. That's a sweet hut. Huh? Very cool. Okay. Let's look at the view. I got a roof view. And a bathroom there. Okay, cool. Well, all right. Oh, thank you, sir. Good to see you guys here. I know, right? <laughs> look, where's the fin thing? I guess you ain't finna go surfing. <laughs> okay, we're back in here with the foods and I'm looking to see what what's what. Alright, I got my food. It looks like looks like Olive Garden with the bread and all. Okay. You know how it goes. Check out the building there. And it's got the lightning going. Do it. Do it, lightning. Do it. Is it part of yeah, look at it. It's like a pirate themed thing. It's a galaxy. All right, it's kind of like a medieval times, but pirate themed. Very cool. The gift shop has a free gift if you have an IHOP receipt, but it's adults only. Oh. A free gift for Denny's customers too. Okay, now that McDonald's is interesting. Is that a neon Ronald McDonald right there? I like it. I don't think they know how to spell McDonald's. Use the right the, the, right. the, the letters are all staggered and from from the side it looks all goofy. Really <laughs> when you get in, like when you get in the middle of it it's alright, but before it just looks like <laughs> Okay, so we going to Disney Springs, this will be my uh this will be a preview for what's to come tomorrow at my first day at the Disney Park. Oh my gosh, our parks. Plural. We're probably gonna hit two or three tomorrow. Yikes out of the four. Let's go down the escalators and see what's down there. Okay, it's like City Walk at Universal, but it's Disney. There's Planet Hollywood. There's the Coca-Cola thing. I was just thinking, why is everybody freaking out about Coca-Cola? I know what it is. So the word got out that hey, I know a place in Orlando where you get some Coke. So they're all disappointed. I joke. I'm sorry. There's my sugar boo. <laughs> Dua Lipa will be proud that they used her line in the thing. There's a lovely fountain. Let's see if there's any free money in there. Free money! Okay, here's more shops and still more people. They're everywhere. These same people keep getting in my way. I can't stop them. <laughs> I just can't get around them. So we're in here to work out the, the tickets and stuff. But here, right here, it looks like... Oh, look at that. Cheshire Cat. It looks like... Um, it looks like you're looking out a portal um, when you're on a cruise. And speaking of cruise, here's the Disney cruise right here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Right here in the pool. Yeah. Let's jump in right there. We've got... Are we putting Sam or Savage? <laughs> no. Look at that. I just showed you we got the first uh, visit pin, but and, uh, they gave me a... Let me use a marker to put my real name on it. Yeah, this is my pen. This is a fish, y'all. Look at that. And even though it's the day before my first day at a Disney park, I'm here on Disney property officially. Right now, y'all. What about mom? Why can't mom get any love? Why is it always about pop? Well, where the heck's Mickey Mouse? I want his autograph. Or even better stuff. Dude, what is that? Some kind of a mural there. That's pretty cool. Oh, that was Lego. It's a Lego thing. Yeah, what do we got? Oh, there's Rainforest Cafe there. You're gonna see all these great Lego statues. Okay, that'll be cool. I'm gonna take a quick look at this over here. We thought that this might be Rainforest Cafe, but that's it over there. There's something here that looks it's like a giant dinosaur T-Rex. This is a, a T-Rex themed restaurant? Really, bro? Make no bones about it. This is epic. And there is some kind of a thing going over there. It looks like they've got a smaller one over here. That is so cool. So we got some of the Lego sculptures. 
some of the Lego sculptures over here. I'll try to get in there. There's a lot of people walking around. I'll try to battle those lights back there, but how cool is that? A bit of Frozen right there. That guy's sure not to melt because he's Lego. Lego, Lego. Oh, that was a real stretch. But anyway, that thing just flamed up and I totally missed it. <laughs> but there's a lovely sea monster out here. But look right here. Ah, oh, I did it again. I caught you that time, Flamer. Yeah, here it goes. It's erupting. The lava going down. Dude, now we can get the first order in. Nice. Kylo! Let the Wookiee win. Very nice. And Ray, that is so cool. Wow, dude. Here's the sea serpent. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Look at that. That is so stinking cool. Look at that. Now we're gonna go into the world of Disney. Let's go. Stuff! I want that, I want that, I want one of those, I want three of those, I want five of those. Here's all the different shirts it looks like you can get. I need to get one to commemorate my first time. They have collectible medallions. They're very collectible. Come and get some of them. Okay, we have lost one of the Go Team members. Let's look around for In a her. Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Expensively dangerous. <laughs> I could just eat one of those. There's some Mickey, not so hidden Mickey's in the Crocs. Holy mackerel! Now that part—that's the part that's the Croc. <laughs> this guy's the worst pirate I've ever seen. I'm drawn to all these uh, rock bits. This is Pixar. The. Uh, lamp that stomp, that pops and stomps there. There's Woody! Let's see if he actually has a snake in his boot. I think he's been lying all this time. Star Wars! Kind of. Cool! Ding. There's a Muff Gideon back there as well. More Star Wars. Oh, that is so cool looking. His eyes lit up. Yes. Look how big these ears are! Oh my gosh, how big does your head have to be in order to wear that? Yikes! And as we're leaving, they've got a live band over here. Dude, it takes me back to the roller skating days of the late 70s. Oh. Come on, girl. That reminds me of being at roller skating rinks in like the late 70s, early 80s. Very early 80s as well. Dude, this was a big one at the skating rink. That's fun. I missed it. My camera was not recording, but he just said, do y'all got y'all's roller skates on out there? I said, do y'all got y'all's roller skates on out there? Oh my gosh, that is too funny. Pretty neat. So that wasn't a T-Rex after all, probably. I don't know what it is. I don't think you can see the head on it. Unless that's it right there. It might be like brontosaurus type thing, but T-Rex is here, but it's small. Very cool. This whole thing is like a freaking, it's called paddlefish. It's a riverboat, I guess, a fish restaurant. That's really cool. Let's go to get a bit of Cooks of Dublin, some fish and chips. This is cool, it's like a place, like some Asian restaurant, and they've got like Chinese or Japanese, I don't know what it is, characters all over like backlit. That's really cool. And now we're going across this bridgey bridge. Lovely scenery. Oh, that'd be a nice place to have a meal right there by the, the water with the lights all around and stuff. Dude, this is really nice, look at that. Right, yeah. There's um, I think we're going down to see a drone show, but there, speaking of something in the air, there's a massive balloon. That thing is twice the size, bigger, more than twice the size than I, th than I thought it was. I thought it was way smaller. Apparently we're going to be here just in time for a drone show. Let's go. Lightsaber. Yeah, look at her for real. She's a good one. Okay, you're a good one too. Your lightsaber's short. Boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah, I was making fun of her lightsaber talking about it. And there's a uh, galactic outpost here. There's a Marvel hero situation here. We can go bowling's at Splitsville. It's called Dreams That Soar. Thank you. Ooh. Be careful with that lightsaber, you get hurt. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, your lightsaber is the shortest one I've seen yet. Wow. I like the smaller one. <laughs> okay. This is a pretty cool looking. This is a venue, right? Where they do shows and all. Yeah, Cirque du Soleil store right there. And there it is, Dreams that Soar. Let's go and soar to the sky. Looks like a lightsaber fight going over there, but they're not even close to each other. Get them.
Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. Oh, dang. Baymax, greetings. Thrusters. Star Wars shows up and I'm like, oh, that's it for me. That was epic. And I haven't even gotten to Disney. I'm, we're Disney Springs, but I haven't gotten to a Disney park yet. And I've already got touched by the magic. Oh my lordy. <laughs> and to think we were actually going to just skip that. Uh, it wasn't even on the list of things to see or do. We we're like, we're just going to let everybody watch this and we'll get out. But I'm glad we were just like, nearby, 10 minutes it starts. That was so good. All right, we are back at hotel. Look at all the colors. It's so beautiful. And there's the hotel. It's quite large. 
They're so stinking big. Look how large they are. Here's the building. We just came from the other side. I didn't realize that it kind of went wrapped around like so. And there's a massive pool area here. Wow, that is large, y'all. Dude. And of course, it's not until I get back home that I realize I didn't make an outro to that day. I was pretty excited about the next day, next two days that are coming that you'll see in the next couple of videos. They're gonna be long forms like this. It's gonna be full days each video, but I might chop them up later to make them more digestible for the public. But for you, the real savage is, if you're seeing this right now, you made it You made it through what most people are gonna say, I'm not gonna watch that, that's gonna be the boring stuff. And to be fair, uh, it is compared to what's coming tomorrow and the next day. Oh my gosh, I don't even have to tell you to make sure to watch those. If you watch this one, especially to this far, you definitely are gonna watch those. And I appreciate you for doing so. I'll see you on one of those. And y'all stay savage. Like, subscribe, and share, and send money.